Hey everybody, Scott here. Today we're gonna to be removing our old RV toilet and installing a new premium ceramic RV toilet from Camco. So before we get started, you're gonna need a couple extra things that are not included in the box when you purchase your toilet. You're probably gonna need a putty knife to uh, remove the old seal from the floor. You're gonna need some gloves because we're dealing with toilet plumbing. You're gonna need an adjustable wrench to, uh, or an appropriate socket to remove the old toilet from the toilet mounting bolts and install the new. You're also gonna need a measuring tape to ensure you have enough clearance from the center of the toilet flange to the surrounding walls. Another thing you might need are some throwaway towels or some paper towels, something to clean up any mess. You need to make sure that there is 10 and a half inches between the center of the toilet flange to the back wall. You also wanna make sure that there's 11 inches between the center of the flange and the surrounding walls. Before you remove your toilet, you wanna make sure that your water coming into your RV is off because we don't wanna remove the water line from the toilet and then have water spraying everywhere. So we've made sure that the water is off. Now I'm going to remove the water line from the toilet. So the next thing, you're gonna remove the, uh, the nuts off of the toilet mounting bolts. All right, so we got the nut off one side, now we're gonna remove the other. All right, the next step is to lift the toilet off of the mounting bolts. Before we do that, we're gonna wanna remove our new toilet from the toilet box, get everything ready to go so that the transition between removing the old and installing the new can go as quick as possible because like I said, there's an open hole between my nose and the black water tank. We're almost ready. We've opened up the hardware package that was included with the toilet. It comes with a brand new floor seal, two mounting bolts, the two washers, two nuts, and two plastic caps to cover up the hardware once we get it installed. One more thing before we remove this toilet, we want to install the new floor seal on the new toilet. When we lift this toilet up, we're gonna get rid of this toilet, we're gonna get rid of the floor seal, and we're gonna remove the old hardware and install the new. Before you install the new floor seal, take note, one of these sides says this side down, all right? Where obviously we're gonna to wanna to put that one towards where the floor is gonna be. Just slip that over the bottom here. Also note, We've got our handy cleaning supplies here in case once we remove the toilet, we need to do some quick cleanup. All right, so the next thing, we're gonna, I'm gonna remove this toilet, I'm gonna put it in the tub, and I'm going to clean up the floor, and I'm gonna install the new toilet all while holding my breath. <sighs> oh, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, that's gonna get thrown up. Oh, that's gross. These foul odors could have been prevented. So before you remove your RV toilet, make sure to use Camco's TST. If you find that the new hardware will not fit underneath your new flange, uh, just grab yourself a screwdriver, loosen it up a little bit before you slide the, uh, the new hardware in. Now we put the washers on and the nut. So now we're gonna tighten down the nuts on both sides until the base of the toilet is flush with the floor and there shouldn't be any wobbling. A little bit at a time on each side will help it set evenly. Now you don't want to go crazy when you're tightening these things down. Just uh, just get it tight enough, tight enough so that it's not wiggling. Then we're gonna put the caps on. These things just press right down over the top of the mounting bolts. 
Now we're going to connect the water line. Hand tight is going to be good enough. There's a little rubber seal inside the uh, connection hose. Now we're going to turn the water on. And let's see what happens. All right, so we just turned the water on. No leaks. At least there doesn't appear to be any leaks. No dripping water anywhere. Now we're going to flush it and make sure that it works. You're going to want to leave at least an inch of water in your toilet at all times. That makes sure that the toilet seal doesn't dry out. So that's it. You got your brand new premium ceramic toilet installed. One thing that might be a good idea is to run a bead of waterproof silicone caulk around the base of the toilet so that if there are any leaks, it doesn't get underneath the toilet and into the wood of the, the floor of your bathroom. So that's all there is to it. It's pretty easy to install Camco's premium ceramic toilet. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching. Camco.